it's a very great pleasure to see the exhibition of Spanish drawings from the British Museum here in the Prado, to see the drawings coming home, so to speak. What we wanted to do at the British Museum was to present for the first time in English the story of drawings in Spain, because surprisingly, nobody has ever told that story. And we wanted to tell a number of different stories at the same time. Of course, we wanted to present the great artists, uh, the Murillos, the Riberas, the Goyas. But we also wanted to show that the story of art in Spain is the story of different regions, and that what is happening in Madrid is different from Valencia or Andalusia or whatever. So we tried to organize the exhibition rather like that, but we were also keen to make the point that the story of art in Spain is a uniquely European story. Spanish art is the story of the whole of Europe. You can't understand what's happening in Spain without understanding something of the Netherlands, the Low Countries, of obviously Italy, and later of France. And to look at the way Berughetti is inspired by uh, Michelangelo, to look at Ribera as a painter who's also part of a tradition in Naples, how the 18th century is French. This tells you a European story from a Spanish viewpoint. And that was something we were interested in, that the national idea of an art made in one country by one country in Europe is never true. It's always a European story. And we were particularly pleased, of course, that the Goya drawing of the Duke of Wellington could be here because it is one of Goya's most humane portraits, the soldier Wellington, not the hero, the soldier, who has arrived in Madrid in 1812, completely exhausted. The look in Wellington's eyes, he's obviously almost mad with tiredness, and he can hardly believe that he, at last he's in Madrid. But of course, it was that moment of the British and the Spanish fighting together against the French that allowed the British to discover Spanish painting, to start admiring it, then to start studying it, and to start collecting it. And so that drawing of the Duke of Wellington by Goya is, really stands at the beginning of 200 years of British engagement with study of collecting of Spanish drawings and Spanish paintings. What is beautiful is the presentation here on the deep red walls, which make the drawings look much more beautiful than they were in London. But it also tells a different kind of story, focused more on the great artists. Um, our public needed more explaining. Our public didn't know enough about Spanish art and the context, so we needed to give them more help. Here, the works of art, the drawings, are more autonomous. They stand as great works of art on their own. And that's been a great pleasure to see. And finally, I would like to thank the colleagues in the Prado for this great and happy cooperation. It's just the kind of collaboration between scholars, curators, that gives everybody such satisfaction. The scholars of the Prado working with the scholars of the British Museum to investigate this collection and then to present it to the public. And very pleasingly, after being shown in London, it's now here in Madrid, and then it will go on to Australia, to Sydney, to discover a new world and to be discovered by a new public.